Tonight's fourth fight is a heavyweight boxing bout. Let's meet the fighters. First, fighting out of the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner, please make welcome Eric Baruman De La Cruz. Back to the heavyweights, our people. <laughs> the we relate. <laughs> These little guys, I don't relate to that. Mr. Eric De La Cruz making his way to the ring. As you referenced, it is a heavyweight bout. Stained with 12 ounce gloves, stained with three two minute rounds. So, neither of us thought that the, uh, oh, let's grab the tail of the tape here real quick. Mr. Eric De La Cruz, 6'1", heavyweight 13 and two is his record as a boxer. Facing off against Norman Kimbrough, who's making his debut at 33 years old and six feet tall. There's an experience advantage. Yes, he is. A little bit. Here we go, Sean. And now, fighting out of the Larry H. Miller Blue Corner, please make welcome Norman, the Professor Kimbrough. Fight number four of the evening is presented by Brandon Dodge on Broadway. It's now time to meet the heavyweight boxers first. Fighting out of the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner, representing Ghost Town Gladiators from Greeley, Colorado, please make welcome Eric Baruman De La Cruz. And his opponent, fighting out of the Larry H. Miller Blue Corner, representing A1 Boxing Academy from Aurora, Colorado, please make welcome Norman, the Professor Kimbrough. This heavyweight boxing bout is scheduled for three two-minute rounds, referee Oscar Martinez. Gentlemen, you've had your final instructions. Protect my commands at all times, okay? From here. Anything down, illegal. Keep them up high, okay, gentlemen? Touch them up. Back to your corners, gentlemen. Here we go. Heavyweight boxing. Three two-minute rounds, 12-ounce gloves. Eric De La Cruz facing off against Norman Kimbrough. De La Cruz in the solid black title trunks. Kimbrough wearing the black and red flamed trunks. Set up that jab, set up that jab. Power shots going for both fighters. De La Cruz gets off well on the separation. Every boxing coach you'll ever hear talks about punch when you break, and that's exactly what worked well for Mr. De La Cruz there. Kimbrough throwing some heavy shots, but not really connecting so far. Work out, Eric, work out. Stay strong. Good, oh, right wow. Goodness, De La Cruz and Kimbrough turned away for just a split second there. Those big combinations. Oh, power shots going to the body. Good hook, though. Nice answer from Kimbrough. Keep it in. Yeah, Cruz with big shots so far, even just the jabs. Kimbrough, a little wavy on the feet so far. He's yeah, taking big shots. You're right, relegated to covering up here a little bit later in the round. Now you can just kind of see it in Kimbrough's face. Okay, time to throw. He bit down and started answering back. Big combo by De La Cruz, pressing against the corner. Nice body work by De La Cruz. Oh, Kimbrough followed up with a big strike. Might have a cut over the left eye, De La Cruz. Nope, guess not. Nice uppercut, well timed by De La Cruz. Hey, who's that head, Eric? Yeah, yeah. 
There you go. Good hand moment. And second clack, or what I'm impressed by De La Cruz there when he's in tight. Is he sees the punches coming from Kimbro and he rolls with them nicely. Even if he gets tagged with it, he's moving and uh, able to keep the punches off. Sparta Combat League and Airtight Boxing is presented by the Platte River Bar and Grill. So I'd have to say De La Cruz solidly ahead in round number one. If you're in Kimbrough's corner, what are you telling them? Well, a couple of things. I mean, you know, he, he was absorbing the shots. I mean, just watch the replay here. But what you can see with Kimbrough is he's on his heels. So when De La Cruz is delivering shots, Kimbrough's on off balance already. He's got to press forward, put his way forward. The big guy's got to use him. And when he does that, he landed a couple of really nice shots, did Kimbrough, but De La Cruz just busier, more accurate. And I think what we can say is we're seeing the experience of De La Cruz pay off here. He knows when to flurry, he knows when to back off and give himself a little bit of space. And that's just time in the ring. Yeah. Round two. that jab, Eric. Taylor oh, and De La Cruz, Cruz comes out firing hard. Get your space. Get your space. Get your space. And that job. There you go. Good. Good control. Remember. There you go. You got him with that one. You got him with that one. You got him with that one. Yeah, yeah. Lands in combinations and Chris, why would I say that? Chris, right back. <laughs> Kimbrough nice with his combinations, they flow smooth, but before he starts his combination, he almost always has some kind of a tell. There's almost a little bit of a twitch before he throws any of his punches, and I think we're seeing De La Cruz pick up on that. De La Cruz with a nice five or six punch combination there. That's the difference is Kimbrough's relying on a guy to just one big punch. De La Cruz is going to come at you with five, six, seven punches in a row. And each of those punches is about three-quarter power, which in this division is plenty. Oh my God. Kimbrough out of desperation. And as Kimbrough, as Kimbrough uh, bent over and covered up there, the referee said, fight back, fighter. So he's letting Kimbrough big know. Shots. De La Cruz trying to finish it. And set. Go. That's not 45. Oh. Big crushing shots coming in. Kimbrough just covering up now. And he's down. Oh. Kimbrough saved by the ropes. De La Cruz getting a nice breather. 10 second clacker. Looks like we're probably going to make it to the third round. And there we go. Round three coming up. Sparta Combat League and Airtight Boxing is presented by Saratoga Casino Blackhawk. Well, once again, Taylor Cruz, big, big aggressor, landing big, big shots on Kimbrough. Yeah, just really doing a nice job of being super accurate, picking his shots very wisely. We're gonna see that here on the replay. De La Cruz almost leaps forward with that punch to set it up. Then once he has Kimbrough in some trouble and hurt, he just goes with those three quarter power shots because he can throw them in combination. He's not gonna gas himself out, but he's still gonna have a real positive effect on his opponent. Kimbrough was finding success when he was coming at De La Cruz in the beginning of the round, but I don't know if he got tired or De La Cruz just figured it out. Everybody's got a mouthpiece in, so we are good to go. G -touch. And De La Cruz has to just be feeling the confidence at this point. Not waiting at all, already going after him. Kimbrough delivered some nice uppercuts, though. And working in the clinch is Kimbrough. Oh, Kimbrough just went to town with that right hand. And De La Cruz putting his experience on display. Putting his experience on display by way of throwing the combination to answer that crushing shot. Big body shots by De La Cruz. Oh, Kimbrough coming back at him. I tell you, when Kimbrough lands, it has effect. 
The thing about these heavyweights is it only takes one big shot to That's knock the other guy down. Yes, sir. I think Kimbrough a little bit weathered here. Starting to show it. Gotta be wavering, wobbling. Oh, two big <laughs> shots. Kimbrough needed those punches right then. Well done, sir. De La Cruz, however, wells him wear and answers back with more power shots of his own. Thirty seconds left in the fight. Uh, Cruz pressing now, trying to get him into, into the ropes both again. Cruz found success so far. Kimbrough once again clinching up. Let's see who's able to reach deep here. Corner of Kimbrough saying, you just got a punch. And De La Cruz able to put some things together. 10 oh. second clacker sound and De La Cruz starts putting together a flowing combination. Kimbrough looks to answer. There's the bell. Judge is gonna have to do it again. They are earning their paychecks tonight, Cody. No lack of punches. We made it to, have we made it to three rounds in every fight? Nope, yeah. nope, moment. I think Reyes was We have the TKO. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 129 around three. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and checking out the replay here. Take us through it, Cody. Well, again, one, De La Cruz keeping his distance with that front jab. As soon as he get, lands a shot on Kimbrough, Kimbrough immediately balls up and De La Cruz just starts working the body. Yeah, every time that that happened, De La Cruz, was ready to come with a flurry and just a really, really nice job by the Gladiator fighter. And Doc Alex Constantinidis, best of the business in there checking on everybody. No teeth embedded in the mouthpiece, so <laughs> ought to be good. Step away from the mics for just a second, let the scorekeeper do their tally eat. And we'll be right back with Butch. There, Kimbrough helping De La Cruz get the gloves off. <laughs> All right, Sean has the uh, official word in his hand. Always one of the first to know. Insider knowledge. After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score the bout 30-26, declaring your winner by unanimous decision, Eric Baruman de la Cruz. I'm here now with Eric Baruman de la Cruz. You just got a very dominant victory. How do you feel about that? I feel great. You looked like you were coming out there ready to bang. You guys were both landing some pretty hard shots. What was your game plan going into this? Well, my coaches taught me all I needed to know. So basically, just brawl like I would. I always do. You, 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 you got the knockdown in the second round. Uh, you looked like you got a bit frustrated because he kept holding on to you, grabbing your arms. Um, how are you feeling during, during the second round? Well, most of the time, he was grabbing me a lot. But, I was trying to do my best and brawl like I always do. I know you probably wanted that knockout, but are you pretty pleased with your performance tonight? I need some areas that I need to improve. Anybody you want to thank tonight? Oh, well, my coaches and my friends and family. All right, congratulations on your win. Great job. <laughs> 